Look at the spurs on this bird. Well, guys, the opening day of the 2014 Kentucky turkey season uh, had me spend a lot of time watching birds from afar. Uh, I had my dad in the blind early that morning, and we had uh, several birds right behind us in the uh, up on the hill above the blind, but they moved off, and later I found out uh, that they had actually moved over to another piece of property. So um, they were about a quarter mile away and uh, had six gobblers and several hens and couldn't do much with them. Well, on the evening of the opening day, uh, I headed to another piece of property where I'd had great success over the last several years and set out a couple of hen decoys with a B-Mobile and uh, sit back to see what would happen. Uh, I called one time and heard birds down over in the woods uh, out of my line of sight, uh, but soon they revealed themselves and it was a couple of gobblers with two jakes. Uh, as soon as the young gobblers saw the strutting decoy, they headed in the opposite direction, but these two jakes finally came in and I decided about six o'clock to get out of there and try them again the next morning. Well guys, you know sometimes hunting in the blind can be pretty boring, uh, especially if the birds are not gobbling and not very vocal at all. And that's the way it was on the second morning of the uh, of the season. Uh, had these couple of deer come in, so it uh, took away from the monotony for a little while until we finally got a little action later on in the morning. Now, I knew from experience that uh, when I don't see birds right off the roost, uh, most usually I get some action around 9, 9.30. And I wasn't paying much attention, uh, but I looked up uh, out of the back of the blind and saw this guy standing already within shooting range, and it was 9 o'clock on the nose. Uh, so I was able to get some good footage of him uh, while he strutted around and Little did I know, but he had a couple of partners with him. I was beginning to wonder if he's ever going to make his way over to the decoys, but finally the Jakes let him over and was about to give me the opportunity I'd been waiting for.
Guys, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. It's uh, quite a hunt. Uh, I was out here last night and saw this bird probably and a couple others and definitely those two jakes right there, I think. Uh, I snuck out of here though. I didn't press them. And hopefully, uh, I was hopeful that I could come back today and get them to come in, but it was quiet. It was uh, no goblin activity whatsoever. Had one hen, flew down early guys finally just came in uh, after persistent calling for you know, I'd call about every 15 minutes or so and they finally reacted and came in had a couple other gobblers before I got out of the blind after I shot this one that came in as well and I let them sneak on off so uh, so we can get back over here and hopefully hunt these birds as well so I uh, hope you enjoyed that it was a lot of fun